It's a game. Do you know, can anybody read what this game is? Yes. Can you? Yes? What is it? The Lord of the Rings Risk. Not surprisingly, one of my favorite games. Are you going to see yourself? Yes. We can see ourselves. I know. Now, here's the question. Have any of you played Risk before? No. no. Have any of you played Risk before? Yes. So, you know, it's a somewhat complicated game. Yes? Now, have, you, have any of you seen Lord of the Rings? Might be a little too. Yeah. You have? Oh, good. Also one of my favorite movies, but also a little complicated. There's a lot of plots, lines to follow, and story. Yeah, I, I love it. But So when you put the two together, you can imagine we need instructions. We need rules, right, to know. Yep. Well, we're going to leave. Those are tiny pieces. We're going to leave those in there for now. I know. Um, so we need instructions, right? Look at These are all the rules for. Hi. Hi. Look, these are all the rules for how to play the game. There's a lot of them, right? Well, we don't have time to play the game because, hi, because people who have played Risk know that this game can take hours and hours and hours. We don't have hours and hours. Right. We don't have hours and hours. But what would happen if we tried to play this game, but none of us followed the rules? Would it be very successful? No. No. The rules are there for a reason. And generally for things to go well, we, we sort of have to follow the rules. But let's say that these rules say, which they do, that, the, that everybody who's playing rolls, and the first person who rolls the highest goes first, and they have to be the evil team. They have to be the orcs and the ring race. Now, what happens, say Pastor Emily and I were playing this game, and she rolled the highest, but she's like, you know what, Pastor Jen, I really want to be the good guys. I want to be the hobbits and Gandalf. Can we just switch? I know the rules say that I have to be the bad guys, but I want to be the good guys. Can I be the good guys? Now, what would be the loving thing to say? Yes. Would I? Nope. The rules say. The rules say you have to be the bad guy. No, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I can be the bad guys. And then she could be the good guys, and then we go on and play. Well, Paul kind of talks about something like that in our reading from 1 Corinthians. He says, you know, there are rules that we should all follow, right? Like, when we're playing this game, oh, thank you. When we're playing this game, we shouldn't cheat, right? We shouldn't get upset and overturn all the pieces. We shouldn't, like, just haul off and hit each other if we're angry about the outcome, right? Would that, be, that wouldn't be following the rules. Those are rules we have to follow. So that's what Paul says. There's some things we have to do. We have to be kind to each other. We have to say hi to each other and love each other. You know, there's some things we have to do. But then there's some things... You know, they're not, as, they're not as, like, certain. And sometimes we just do things out of love, and maybe we let somebody else go first. So maybe you guys know that trick-or-treating is fine because it's just a, a celebration and it's a holiday, but maybe you have some friends who don't. So maybe let them be okay with that. Or maybe you know that you go and your family plays Texas Hold'em poker, and it's just with chips and it's no big deal, but maybe there's somebody <laughs> who has an issue with that. And, you know, then you don't because they have an issue, right? So maybe you really like peanut butter, but what if your friend has a peanut allergy? Do you go ahead and eat peanut butter anyway? Yeah, yeah but not around them because that wouldn't be very nice, right? They'll be allergic and they would get really, really sick. I know. They're allergic and they'd get sick and then that wouldn't be kind. So you know it's okay to eat peanut butter, but maybe for their sake you just don't eat it. So sometimes there's things you just do. Because it's the loving thing to do, even though you know you could do it. So even although I know I could say, no, it's the rules, you have to be the bad guys, maybe I could just do that in love when Pastor Emily and I are playing this game. Yeah. So let's pray and give thanks to the Lord that he gives us the discernment to know that there are some rules we have to follow, but sometimes we just have to act out of love. Okay, can we all pray? Okay. Lord God, thank you so much for this beautiful group of little ones that you have brought here to hear all about your grace and the discernment you give us to always act in love, whatever we do, and to know that the rules are there and that they're good, but also that sometimes in love, we don't insist on our own way, but we're there for our friends in Christ. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.